Begin by clicking on the New Composition button. The default values work fine, so I'm going to click OK. Right click on the Timeline area and go to New, Solid. The color choice doesn't really make a difference, so just hit OK. I'm also going to double click inside the project pane and add the video I'd like to glitch to my project. Drag the clip onto your timeline. Select your solid color layer and then go to the Effects and Presets pane. Type Fractal Noise in the search box. Drag it onto your composition. In the Effect Controls pane, change the Fractal Type to Dynamic. Set the Noise Type to Block. Next, decrease the complexity to around 3. Open up Transform and turn off Uniform Scaling. Change the scale width to around 1200. Click on the Timer button next to Evolution to create a starting keyframe. Drag the time head to the length of your imported video clip and then set it to 100. When you play it back, you'll have a nice glitch animation. I'm also going to go ahead and drag my ending work slider so that it matches the length of my imported clip. Right click inside the work area slider's bounds and select trim comp to work area so that both layers have an equal size. Next. Drag your clip so that your imported video clip is above your solid color layer and you can see your video. Right click on your solid color layer and select the pre-compose option. Name it as you like. Then select the move all attributes into new composition option and hit OK. Next, go to the effects and presets pane and search for displacement map. Drag it onto your imported clip. Up in the Effect Controls area, change the Displacement Map layer to the Solid Color Precomposition layer you just created. Increase the Max Horizontal Displacement and Max Vertical Displacement values until you get a nice looking glitch effect. You may also want to hide your Solid Color layer so that you don't see the color popping out around the outside of your effect. Finally, we need to colorize and ghost the glitch effect. Highlight both of your layers and right click and select Precompose. I'm alright with the default so I'm going to hit OK. In the Effects and Presets pane, search for 3D Glasses. Drag the effect onto your composition. In the Effect Controls, change the 3D view to Red Blue LR. Set the left and right views to the composition you created. To finish things off, increase the scene convergence to around 25 to get a nice looking ghosting effect. Alright, and that's all there is to it. You now know how to make a glitch effect in After Effects.